the gubernatorial race analysis of the Democratic Party represented by McCullough, the Republican Party represented by Cuccinelli, and the Libertarian Party represented by Sarvis. The issues we chose that were focused on by the candidates were health care, education, and economic growth. The Democratic rep representative was Terry McAuliffe, and he was born in Syracuse, New York, and his background uh, included he received a bachelor's degree from the Catholic University of America in 1979, and he received a Juris Doctor degree from the law school at Georgetown University in 1984, and some of his previous political experience included he was the chairman of the Democratic National Convention from 2001 to 2005, and he was also a member of the Hillary Clinton's 2008 campaign as a chairman. For Terry McAuliffe's uh, platform for health care, he was for Medicaid, and he wanted it to work, and also that he uh, wanted to make the Affordable Care Act work for Virginia, so a lot of people would get jobs and... Yeah, so for his education reform, he uh, wanted to start reforming the SOLs and he wanted to increase the support for pre-K and earlier education. And for his economic growth, he wanted to uh, develop the workforce better and diversify our economy to and focus more on what we make the most revenue on for our economy in Virginia. For uh, Terry McAuliffe's uh, implementation in healthcare, he was for the medical Medicaid expansion and he wanted to invest in the Medicaid ex uh, because if he didn't, the taxpayer money from Virginians would be spent in other states and he didn't want that to happen. He also wanted to make sure the Volunteer Act worked so that the law could create jobs and bring about savings and better outcomes for Virginia patients, doctors, and businesses. For uh, Terry McAuliffe's implementation on education, he wanted to reform the SOL, increase support for early education, and basically he wanted to focus on progress-based data rather than grade requirements. He wanted to test more on a broader understanding rather than fact, and then he wanted to make sure early young children gain access to early education and uh, also improve level of skill in our early childhood education. His implementation for the economic growth included bettering the workforce and diverser, diversifying our economy. He wanted to focus on improving our community colleges, investing in our pre-K through 12th grade education, reform the SOLs, and focus on improving the areas of work where we make the most revenue, such as tourism and energy. Ken was born in Edison, New Jersey, and he went to UVA to get a BS in mechanical engineering. Then he went to George Mason to get a JD in the School of Law and an MA in International Commerce and Policy. In his previous political experience, he was the Attorney General of Virginia from 2010 to the present day, and he was also a Virginia Senator to, to 2010. Cuccinelli's platform is also uh, health care education and economic growth. So in terms of health care, he opposes Medi Medicaid and is anti-abortion. For education, he wants to strengthen the kindergarten to, through 12th grade STEM, STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, and adjust SOL towards problem solving. In economic growth, he would like to implement tax relief. So his first implementation in healthcare is that he opposes Medicaid and, and is anti-abortion. He wants to invest, invest funds towards mental health services, increase psychiatrists and pediatrics, and reduce tax burdens and promote more jobs to make primary care more accessible. In the second implementation for education, Cuccinelli wants to broaden the K-12 through STEM and re revise the SOL testing. The SOL testing, is he wants to have more geared towards more problem solving than memorization. And for the K through 12 STEM, he wants to introduce mo modern technology by using proxy technology like 3D printers and visual digital learning. He also wants to increase private sector partnerships and also increase the $2,000 grants for the low middle income families who will study science and healthcare in college. Also, he would like to increase Virginia's tuition assistant grants for $3,500 for undergraduates. Third implementation is economic growth, and Cuccinelli wants um, to have tax relief. He wants to reduce the individual income tax rate from what is currently 5.75% to 5%.
He also wants to reduce the business income tax rate to 6%, from 6% to 4%. Also, he would like to eliminate the BPOL tax and the MC tax while maintaining revenue. He would also like to ensure the state government growth does not exceed, exceed the inflammation ra inflation rate and population growth. He wants to close the unspecified loopholes and create more jobs by reducing red tape and help smaller businesses by creating the Office of Small Business Advocate. Lastly, from the Libertarian Party, Robert Sarvis, age 37, born in Fairfax, Virginia, married with two children and currently living in Annandale, Virginia, um, has a background of education and degrees in mathematics from Harvard University and the University of Cambridge, a JD from NYU School of Law, and a master's in economics from George Mason University. His previous political experience is none. He has a professional background in entrepreneur being an entrepreneur and a small business owner, software engineer and mobile app developer, math teacher, and a lawyer. For his three platforms um, regarding health care, he believes in returning health care regulation to the states, eliminating, eliminating many of the laws, regulations, and tax rules that diminish the incentives faced by businesses and employees, and create a policy freedom at the state level involving public spending on health care for the poor and elderly. For education, he thinks parents should be in charge of the education dollars spent on their children and teachers need to be rewarded for more of the educational value they create. For economic growth, he aims to end capitalism and return to the rule of law by simplifying and streamlining the tax system so that revenue raising is transparent and least burdensome to individuals, families, and businesses. For his health care implementation, he wants to focus on catastrophic and not comprehensive insurance care because comprehensive insurance programs are ridiculously expensive, but the benefits and health outcomes do not justify this cost. More salient benefit is through catastrophic insurance, which is why he wants to provide that at a much lower cost. He also wants to focus public spending on mental health care because studies suggest that high returns on public spending are on mental health. He also wants to focus on cash subsidies rather than having bureaucrats decide what services should be available and at what cost. He'll do this by giving, this will give patients greater flexibility to meet their individualized health care needs and restore market incentives to keep costs down and innovate in the provisions of services. For his educational implementation, he wants to maximize school choice through public school matching programs. He also wants to end education fads by demanding actual learning and eliminate SOLs entirely, reward quality instruction, not credentials and seniority, and pursue cost-effective solutions supported by teachers. He also wants to deregulate private schools and public school reform of accreditation requirements, state mandates, local school board powers, and the state board of education itself. He also wants to foster in every aspect of education policy an open and competitive market for education services. For services economic growth implementation, he wants to eliminate all regulations that insulate market incumbents for, from competition. He wants to end all government subsidies of specific industries or companies. He wants to remove all special tax and regulatory treatment of particular industries or companies. He wants to keep the government government neutral with regard to technological solutions, investment decisions, business inputs, and business methods. He wants to get rid of discretionary funds and return the money to the taxpayer. He wants to eliminate the car tax and the BPO machine and tool tools and merchant capital and other business taxes that hide the cost of taxation, burden employers, and reduce business act activity. And he wants to eliminate or dramatically reduce the income tax, which reduces employment and lowers take-home pay. He also wants to move to a uniform consumption tax on all the final retail sales of goods and services, reform property taxes by excluding improvements to land, and prefer, where possible, user fees to general taxes. Oh, that's mine. The general poll, as of October 27th, when people were asked who they would vote for, for this coming election, resulted that McAuliffe 
had 53% of the votes, Cuccinelli with 39%, Sarvis with 8%, and other with 1%. So McAuliffe is currently in the lead. The first poll on the issue of health care shows that 57% of the people believe that McAuliffe will be effective in helping the health care situation. 38% with Cuccinelli and 3% for Sarvis. Again, McAuliffe is in the lead. The second poll on the issue of education shows that 59% of voters think that McAuliffe will be uh, very effective in this. 30% for Cuccinelli and 10% for Sarvis. The third poll on the issue of economic growth shows McAuliffe uh, having a 51% lead in job creation and McAuliffe again with 43% of voters supporting him in the taxes. Cuccinelli shows that 44% of the people believe he will help in creating jobs and 48% in taxes. Sarvis has 3% of the vote for job creations and 8% of the vote for taxes. We think uh, Terry McAuliffe will win because he uh, was ahead in all the majority of the election and uh, also because of his health care platform implementation where he supported Medicaid and that uh, stands out for a lot of the Virginians, which they like a lot. So. Yeah, but who we think will win is Mrs. McKean because every candidate is similar in their implementations besides... McAuliffe's platform of Medicaid, but other than that, there's really no difference. So there's no real reason why he should win. And she's also fair and gives power to her classes while also maintaining order. Since she's a government teacher and has had previous experiment, experience working in the government, she is well aware of what needs to be done to have a successful government.